안녕하세요. Olá, tudo bem? Hi, how are you? Olá, como estás? Hello. Bonjour, como você vai? Nihau. Arigato, konnichiwa. So, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I learn how to speak all of this language. En el día de hoy, yo te voy a explicar cómo que tú puedes aprender a hablar diferentes idiomas. Ok? No dia de hoje eu vou te explicar como é que você pode falar diferentes línguas sem ir na escola. É difícil, né? Mas é verdade. So, basically, antes de começarmos, subscribe to the channel. Antes de começar, por favor, dale a subscribe a meu canal, por favor. So, começamos. So, meu primeiro idioma é Português. My first language is Portuguese, ok? Um, so, a minha primeira língua foi portuguesa. So, eu antes vivia em África e infelizmente tinha que mudar-me para USA. Pero, não infelizmente, mas tinha que mudar-me para USA. So, quando eu me mudei para viver em América, eu tinha que aprender inglês. So, so eu antes vivia em Angola. Só so, que passou é que um, eu tinha que mudar de Angola até a até América. E a América fala inglês, então eu tinha que aprender inglês à força. Eu também chorava na escola, mas tinha que aprender inglês à força. So basically, I came from a country called Angola. When I moved to USA, I had to learn how to speak English. I mean, I'm happy now I can speak it, but yeah. So here are the tips how to speak. A lot of language. Essas são algumas dicas que tu podes usar para aprender a falar diferentes línguas. So, agora eu te vou dizer como que tu podes aprender a falar diferentes idiomas porque te vou ajudar. Entendes? Tudo que tu pones em tu cérebro é o que tu vai pensar. Se tu pensas que, oh não, esse idioma é muito difícil, eu não vou aprender. Tu não, tu não lo vai aprender. Então, se tu pões no teu cérebro que, oh, essa língua é muito difícil, não, não vai aprender. Meu irmão, não vais aprender a falar nenhuma língua. Para com isso, ok? If you put in your mind, in your mindset that, oh, I'm not going to be able to speak this language, is hard. Then no, you're going to speak it. The first step that you have to do is believe in yourself. If you believe that you are capable of learning the language, you will learn it. Even though it's hard, but you will learn it. That's tip number one. Tip number two. You have to practice. Practice. There's no way you're going to speak something without practicing. Okay? Number two. You have to practice. Practice. Number two. You have to practice. Practice. Because no hay ninguna forma que tú vas a aprender un idioma sin practicarlo. Like, que van a que tú dices, dime. ¿Tú me entiendes? Ok, bueno. Lo que tienes que hacer, tú tienes que, en primer lugar, tienes que empezar a ver todo en el idioma que tú quieres aprender. ¿Me entiendes? Ejemplo. Si quieres aprender a hablar coreano, tienes que poner el subtitles en inglés. Y el, y el show en coreano, tú me entiendes? Como que, like, yeah. So, basically, if basically the audio have to be the language that you want to learn, and the subtitle have to be the language you want to learn. Example, for example, right? If I want to learn Korean, I'm going to put a Korean TV show, and I'm going to put the subtitles in English, but they're going to be speaking in Korean. So, that way, if they say, I would know that that means hi, how are you, thank you, harmony, grandma, oh, anyo, no, chalda, bye. So, yeah, so you're gonna pick it up little by little, little by little, little by little. And also, what I do is I use my phone, believe it or not. So, if, if I'm watching Korean show, so. Lo que pasa es que, no, tú, tú tienes que empezar a ver videos en los idiomas que tú quieres aprender. Por ejemplo, si quieres aprender a hablar coreano, tú, tú tienes que poner TV shows en, core, en coreano y el subtitles tienes que poner 
en los idiomas que tú sabes, ¿me entiendes? Ejemplo, si tú ves que, que están diciendo hola, tú escribes hola en coreano, ¿me entiendes? O sea, no, sí, ok, no, ok, thanks. Entonces, si tú quieres aprender cómo hablar una lengua, por ejemplo, tú tienes que poner un vídeo en coreano y las letras en la lengua que tú entiendes, ¿me entiendes? Okay. What you have to do is you have to learn, you have to listen to the songs in the language that you want to learn. Lo que pasa es que tú tienes que empezar a escuchar músicas, canciones en el idioma que tú quieres aprender para que las palabras te pueden salir más naturales y que las palabras te pueden sonar mejor y, y para que no te parezca tan extraña cuando tú hablas o cuando tú hablas. Entonces, Tú tienes que comenzar a escuchar músicas na, en lengua que tú quieres para que você no pensa oh, eso está falando aquí, ¿entiendes? Un ejemplo, yo gosto, de, yo gosto mucho de música coreana, ¿entiendes? Yo amo música coreana, entonces, lo que yo hago es que yo siempre escuto BTS, Blackpink para que los meus ouvidinhos po puedan se acostumar en la lengua coreana. This. Okay, so another thing that you have to do is you have to have maybe a friend, not even a friend, like you have to practice, okay? You have to practice how to speak. Example, if you work at an airport and you see um, a lot of Koreans, right? There's nothing wrong with you trying, like you can see if they actually you can ask them, like, are you Korean? If they say yes, you say, oh, and you say, oh, that's like hi. You know, like, and they will teach you. You know, I feel like it's okay to approach people in a language that, in a language that you want to learn. Don't be scared to talk, okay? Don't be scared to talk. And to be honest, also, entonces lo que pasa es que tú tienes que practicar. Un ejemplo, si trabajas en, en un aeropuerto, tú puedes ir a un customer que te está preguntando algo. Tú le preguntas, oh, eres coreano? Tú le digas como, hi, añáseo, y ya. Se te contesta, te contestó, si no, no te contestó, pero no perde tu trabajo por mí. Yes. Ok. Now, another tip that I have learned is that there's also, there's also a lot of apps that can help you how to speak the language. Um, I'm gonna put it down in the description below. And I also believe that learning how to speak language have to do with your, I, I don't know if this is a talent or not, but like it's really weird guys, like sometimes I'm at work and I hear people speaking something else and I can, and I can literally understand what they're saying and it's weird and, I, and I'm like, what language is that? They're like, oh, it's Hebrew. And I'm like, huh, okay, I see. So. In Hebrew, this means that is similar to this language. You see what I'm saying? Okay. But you also have to learn that it's like it's okay to go to people and ask for help. It's fine. Me personally, I like to be around people that speak different languages. So that way, I have to force myself to learn it. You get what I'm saying? Like, example, if you have a friend that speaks um French, you tell her, hey, can you teach me how to say how to say um a book in French? You know. The next thing when you go to the house, if you hear book, if, if you hear the word book in French, it means like, oh, that's book, you know? I feel like, I feel like you have to put your mind into it for you to learn it. It also have to do with talent. It have to do with, um, it also have to do with your first language. To be honest, I feel like English is really different from all the languages because English just is is different again there's some there's some similar words of course but it's just so different like example if you speak Portuguese you are capable of learning Spanish se, ejemplo si tu hablas portugués tu puedes entender español pero si hablas inglés que es lo que tu puedes entender nothing so I feel like your first language can also help you know 
and yeah so guys if you guys need help how to speak a language you guys can always DM me you know I'm free to help you guys I'm free to any questions you guys have on how to speak a language I'm down I'm here right now I'm learning how to speak Korean you know I watch Korean shows a lot and I'm always you know I work asking people are you Korean it's only Korean I be like I say oh come on me you know I speak to them back they speak to me back and they tell me that my my pronunciation is good you know and that's and actually what I like about Koreans is that when you say, when you say something wrong they will actually like correct you you know and like be free to ask like am I saying this sentence right you know like don't be scared to speak it and I feel like if you live in USA you have a big chance of you learning Spanish because this is also a speaking Spanish country to be honest like you go everywhere you see so okay but I fala português um para aprender inglês não é muito difícil o que em primeiro lugar tu tens que começar a escutar música em inglês tens que começar a ver filmes em inglês com subtitles em português para que tu podes um, conseguir as palavras e se tu achas que tu tens problema com a palavra tu podes escrever caderno ou no teu celular e vai no Google e traduz a palavra ou pergunta alguém que fala inglês bem e daí, daí você vai aprender. Eu aqui entendo bem italiano, mas falar um pouco minha. É raro, né? Mas um pouco não é. Yeah, so everyone, that's the question that everyone has been asking me so far. How did I learn? Spanish, yeah, I learned Spanish from my friends in high school. Shout out to the babies. And but before I end this video, like it and give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe. 